Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you guys here with me today. So I was changing the toilet paper roll and I thought, what if I collaged on this roll? Like we roll the paper off, right? And I'm like, I can't be the only person that's ever thought of this. So I go on Pinterest and boom, there is a thing called a collage roll. And so, no, I did not think of it. <laughs> and honestly, I probably saw it and it was in my subconscious. Um, I don't really recall watching any videos of these. So anyways, um, yeah, so what people use, well, I took a toilet paper roll and I decided to cut mine down to two and a half inches wide because what I thought was, yes, I could just keep this collage roll um, as it is, like it's like this is my little book, you know. But what like journal journalers, junk journalers, and stuff do is they create little. Um, from what I've seen, is like little. Um, clusters, if you will, and then a little space in between and, uh, and then another cluster, and then they can chop off whatever cluster they want to use in their jur junk journal or whatever. I, I don't want to do that. But what I thought of is if I made these two and a half, if I wanted to cut them to make it an ATC, you know, like just make this all like kind of background and then you can cut it up and turn it into ATCs or you can just leave it as is. So I'm not sure what I want to do yet because I've never made one. Um, but what I did is I have some Dollar Tree parchment paper. In fact, it's this exact one right here. And I cut down my parchment paper into strips of two and a half inches. So now I'm gonna attach it to my roll. And I suppose I should go this way. So let's see, I didn't even see if these fit because they better, because that's what I'm rolling with, no pun intended. Oh my gosh, they fit perfect. I love it when my measurements are dead on. Yes, okay. Um. Oh, and yeah, so how I cut my roll, I think I mentioned this, I just cut it straight up the middle and then flattened it and then cut it to um, two and a half inches and then stuck it back together with some masking tape. Um, if you just kind of squish your roll and try and cut it, it's not gonna come out straight. So I did that. So I think I'll just tape on the first one and then glue after that. Cause I have to connect these pieces together I didn't have just one super long piece of parchment paper. So let's put this first one on here. Let's get this situated and I'll just tape this right onto where my tape was before. So I'll just go like that and maybe I'll just tuck this tape under just to give it a little extra secure tie. Ah. Oops. There we go. Oops. Hold up. You know me. If it's not perfect. <laughs> okay. That's good enough. Okay. Get that tape in there. I just used my, um, my bone folder to just like really press down that tape inside. Just kind of smooth it out and so it adheres better. Okay. So there's roll number one. So then you just, you know, roll it up. Oh my gosh, I love this already. Okay, so do I just wanna tape them together or do I want to glue them together? I think I'll just tape them together. Why not? I mean, I'm gonna be collaging over the top of them anyway, so, okay. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, so we'll go like that. I'm just gonna kinda of put my bone folder in there just so it kinda of keeps this from rolling around. Okay, let's attach the second piece. Okay, here's my taper Rooney. Am I even in camera? Yes, I am. Okay. It's been so long since I've filmed like a video video. Okay, so there's that. Okay, this is where I start getting really anal and I apologize, but that's just how I roll. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna turn this upside down so I can make sure that these are even, Steven, because if they're not even, it's not gonna roll really nice, you know what I mean? Okay, so there we go. Now those are taped. I'm just gonna squish that down like that so the tape really adheres to the parchment, and I suppose I could roll these over instead of just cutting them off. to give it a little extra stability. Let's roll this side over. Gotta be careful because you don't want to pull the parchment too tight and then, you know, make it smaller than it is. Okay, so there's one and two. So let's give it a little rolly-poo. I'm not a huge fan of the tape, but like I said, I'm gonna be collaging over it, so it's not gonna be that big of a nail. Okay, let's turn this upside down because I'm anal. Let's get another piece of tape. Yesterday, you guys, so cute. So I don't know if this is everywhere. Maybe I, I don't know, but like our staffing for our students you know, like our teachers, um, is really low right now because a magnitude of reasons. And so they're just kind of hiring anybody to with, I can't remember what kind, like a bachelor's degree or something that can come in and substitute. So anyways, I've seen this guy and he's just the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. So every day when I'm taking my son up from school, I've seen this little old man. I don't know how old he is because like, I don't know this dude, but I'm assuming he's definitely in his eighties, maybe his seventies, but I'm guessing eighties and he is so cute and he carries, he, he has to be a sub. And he's carrying out his little lunch pail, one of those igloo ones where the lid, like you push the button on the side and the lid goes down like this. And he carries his little igloo, igloo lunch pail and he has suspenders on. And I'm just like, this guy is the cutest little old man I've ever seen in my life. He probably came out of retirement just to help and um, sub for these kids. And I'm just like, that is just the cutest thing I've ever seen. He's just adorable. I hope he's a nice guy. Because in my mind, he's a nice guy. <laughs> he's just so cute. It's just one of those things where you just like, you see this old man and he's just so cute. You want to like go give him a little hug or something. I don't know. I'm just like, that is adorable. What a nice guy. And maybe he's a jerk. I don't know. But <laughs> he looks stinking cute. Okay, let's line this up. I also saw while looking um, at these on Pinterest that some people use um, receipts. So I bought a roll of receipts from Walmart. Like people use like recycle their old receipts or whatever, but um, I just bought like a refill at Walmart. There were just a couple bucks and I got two of them and Lord knows there's enough on there to make me collage for the rest of my life. They're so long, giggity. Okay, so there's that. I guess I could have made my little roll a little tighter, but okay. Oh my gosh, there it is. Okay, so I only did four rolls of parchment and obviously it's not very thick because um, parchment is very thin. So I don't know how many feet this is. Let's see, or how many inches, let's see how many inches each piece was. So here's the middle. Here's the beginning. So each piece was about, um, about 12 inches long. So about a foot. So this is like four feet of paper here. Okay. So then what people do, and this is super stinking cute. So hold on, let me get my thing here. Actually, uh, eh. okay. Hold on guys. Hold on. I'm going to put this down so I can collage. Okay, so hold on. Let me get my... What was I getting? Oh, yeah. Um, well, basically, people are using twine, but I'm not going to... Well, I guess this is twine, right? Oh, getting a delivery. 
Let's hope he doesn't ring my doorbell. Okay, so basically what you do is, oh my gosh, this girl that is delivering, she looks like she's like 16. Okay, so then you go like this, and then, thank you for not ringing my doorbell. How do they get their paper from Nost? You know what? I need a little paper clip. Paper clip. Okay, can I just get a paper clip that's not connected to every other paper clip? Oh, I guess I could just paper clip paper clip it closed, but that's not pretty. Okay, and then they tie a little bow and ta-da! There's their little roll. Obviously, I can bring this down. But then you can just, oh, I thought that's what they did, didn't they? Oh, I don't know. Okay, I kind of like this paper clip idea better. This is cute, but it's a pain in the butt. Okay, so let's collage on this. Let me go grab that package really fast, though. Okay, let's collage on this. So I think what I'll do is just bring it down a little ways and then paper clip it. I'm just going to kind of put my bone folder there. All right there. Let's just get some papers and start gluing. All right. So now I'm starting to collage on this. I will say I really like collaging on parchment paper. One, it's, you know, crinkly. And two, it's thin so that it will still roll up as you continue to work on it. So I really do like it. I don't think I'll end up cutting mine up for ATCs, but I might. Maybe with this one just because it's a little bit shorter. But this would be like a really great project for taking on vacation or something. You know, just pre-make it and then you can just roll out little bits as you go. Now, I don't know how this would be once, it, like if you did like a really long one, because you'd probably have to like roll it up and leave that, leave it like hanging off the table or something like that. You know, the part that you've already, you've already done. I don't know. I haven't done one yet, so I'm not sure. Like that receipt roll that I have, I, that's got to be hundreds of feet long. And I, I think that would probably take me forever so I don't know if I will do that but we'll see I'd have to keep track of like how many glue sticks it took me to get through that <laughs> that would be interesting or maybe just interesting to people like us I don't know so I was starting to get a little finicky because it's been a little while since I've like played in my craft room so I was just kind of getting a feel for it again and um just you know, basically worrying about just making a background and then, you know, you can always decorate it later or not decorate it at all, like I said, and cut pieces off and use it for different projects. But all in all, I think this is a really good project. And it was super cheap because I just ripped off a piece of parchment paper that I got from the Dollar Tree and cut it up and um, used a toilet paper roll that I was going to throw in the garbage anyways. I love using toilet paper rolls. I think it's fun. I just like using objects around the house to make different things. It's like a challenge. I need to add some more papers into my uh, little vintage basket right there. I keep... Um, well, the basket isn't vintage, but I keep my vintage papers in it or vintage looking or, you know, not bright colored, um, crazy papers. Some are vintage in there and then some are just vintage inspired. And I'm just cutting off the edges because that is one of my favorite things to do ever is to give it that clean, crisp edge. Now, you don't have to. You can leave little bits hanging over if you want it to be really organic and um, 
you know, like purposely have little bits hanging over. Because once you glue it down, um, you know, it doesn't matter. But then when you glue it down, you won't have that straight edge like I have um, if you cut pieces off. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like, um, like, a, like a snippet roll where it's all kind of wonky so that when you put it down on paper, it's not just a, a strip. Oh, you could use these for belly bands. That'd be great to use it for belly bands or to make pockets. Oh my gosh. I mean, for me, I just want to roll it up and keep it like a little book. But if you wanted to cut pieces off, oh my gosh, you could do so many things with this. Okay, so I decided to stop there and just kind of see like what it would be like to decorate it a little bit. And I got a new glue stick because that one was at the end and it was all goopy. I hate it when it's goopy at the end. So I started with a little number. Just kind of glue that down. Oh, and then I was like, oh, let me ink these edges. And then I really like the way it looked so much better once I inked it. And then I decided I wanted a clean, fresh line at the bottom there because I didn't cut it very straight. And then that made me feel so much better. <laughs> and then I inked it, and I really liked the way it looked after I inked it. So I just kind of stopped there. It was kind of fun to just do like, it was almost like making a bookmark, you know? You just kind of work little little bits at a time. So I was kind of playing around, seeing like, uh, I don't know, just getting kind of a feel for this new project. And then I was like, well, let me just dig through all my little bits and bobs and see what I can stick on here. What was next? Oh, and then I, yeah. So I had this blue stamp and I was like, oh, I really want to add a pop of color with that blue. And then I realized I had nowhere to put it except for right next to the blue. And I didn't want uh, blue on blue. Like I want some blue, but not right next to the blue. I want it away from the blue. So then I went with this like reddish stamp and I ended up moving it because I decided I wanted to put a butterfly on that corner. So now I'm digging. I need to cut out some more butterflies. I've used almost every single butterfly I've cut out. So I need to go print some off and then cut up some more because I just went through them all. I'm liking the way that looks. And like I said, you can um, cut these off, you know, into little bits. It'd be kind of fun to, like, just do the background on the whole thing and then come back and decorate the whole thing. But I don't know. Decorating is kind of the fun part. So I think just doing, like, little bits at a time and then decorating those little bits and then moving on. What did I put up? Oh, yeah, flower. I put a rose. That's right. Psych. No rose. <laughs> all right, guys. That's all I have for you today. I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me. I had fun hanging out with you. I really enjoyed this new craft, and I'm really excited to continue to collage on it. I hope you guys all have a really fantastic day, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.